So SSNC did make a number of significant enhancements to the AIRS OMS platform over the last 12 months. Uh, we invest, in fact, more than $40 million annually into R&D on our products. So it's a, it's a reality that we, make, um, that we made a lot of changes to the AIRS OMS platform in the past year also. Um, our clients put... Um, our client input, in fact, plays a key role in everything we do. Um, I think that is really the cornerstone of, of our success. It's a, it's a true partnership from that perspective and what makes the AIRS proposition such an attractive solution. Um, fixed income. Uh, fixed income has and will continue to be a big focus for us. Uh, we're seeing a lot of growth in that segment, especially here in Asia. Uh, we improved analytics and risk metrics for better usability. We also rolled out an enhanced uh, trade ticket and our <clears throat> new deal manager for repos. Um, so really from that perspective, we've been really busy making sure that we stay constantly on top of our client requirements, uh, but also changes in the marketplace. Uh, so as an example, um, uh, ESG, ESG is really at the forefront for many firms right now. Um, they need the data uh, at, to be at their fingertips. So we've improved the integration of ESG data uh, throughout our system to give even more flexibility and uh, accessibility, if I can put it that way, as to how we can use it in data views, dashboards, reporting, uh, rules, uh, and even real-time alerts. So really, th th this really helps our clients make data-driven decisions and prevent issues before they actually happen. <clears throat> um, Lastly, uh, to, to that question, lastly, um, we're excited. We're excited about the front office improvements that we've made for the OEMS clients. Uh, now that the systems are fully synchronized, uh, that means that the users can add, they can edit, they can cancel trades from either the OMS or the EMS platforms with updates, uh, really showing on both plotters in true real time. So in terms of uh, what SSNCS will be focusing on in the immediate future in terms of new functionality uh, to the SOMS. Uh, so there's a few things. The SOMS, first of all, let's be clear, is our flagship product. Uh, and our clients view SOMS as the hub of their investment ecosystem. Uh, so we'll continue. We'll continue to focus on improving integrations with other systems, expanding asset class coverage, maintaining top-notch security, and risk programs. A few things that I'm personally excited about are the interoperability and the mobility features that we have now with our latest release. So we've always boasted about our open architecture, including our APIs available in different programming languages. We're looking to extend that even further. Uh, that means that we're focusing on this interoperability and enhancing the platform in a way that gives clients more options for interacting with the data that they manage on our platforms. We also launched our new mobile application powered by S Eclipse last year. Uh, we'll be rolling out support for S OMS by the end of this year. So the client feedback and the user experience testing is driving the design of the app and those clients we've talked to simply love it. I can speak for myself here. I've um, interacted with those clients and I'm very excited for more clients to check it out, especially as things start to open up more. Um, and I think lastly, to finish the, uh, the question, lastly, we're excited about the uh, technical connections with other SSNC platforms, including the fund administration business of SSNC called Globa, or other businesses like SSNC's Geneva and extending the services and solutions available to our clients. So whether you are a small startup, long short equity fund, or a more sophisticated manager with complex workflows and need for asset class diversification, our systems will be able to support you. Mm -hmm.